Hi, Stuart Townend here. This is part of the Preparing to Lead series of videos that we've prepared for you, uh, looking at different songs and how I personally approach playing them. This is the song, The Lord's My Shepherd, uh, which uh, some of you may be using in your local churches. Um, when I'm playing this, the, it, the usual key to play this in is E flat. I'm going to play it in E flat. Um, I'm using what we call the dad gad tuning. If you want to know more about that, you need to go to my website and you'll see videos. Um, about alternate tunings so please have a look at that so this is the alternate tuning and I'm using capo one or capo one so I'm on the first fret here so the notes we have would be if it's open string it would be D so it's gone down from an E A which is the same as usual uh, D which is the same as standard tuning G same as standard tuning the B has gone down to an A and the top E has gone down to a D okay so put the capo on and we get this. And this is how I'd approach it. So let me just go through the chords, really. Um, so you can watch my fingers. You see how I play this. So we've gone, the Lord's my shepherd, I'm not one. All these chords are covered in that other video. He makes me lie in pastures green. He leads me by the still, still Your endless mercy follows me. Your goodness will lead me on. We use a little riff to have a kind of uh, some sort of melodic thing in the turnaround. You just watch this, you'll see how I play it. You can work it out. Just watch the video slowly. It goes like this. Slight variation, second time. Play that slowly for you, so I'm doing this. And second time there's one extra note here. So that's how I play the structure of the song. We sometimes do some alternate chords for the third verse as well, where we go to the four rather than the one. So we go, and the wild wolf, the darkest path. I will not fear the evil one, for you are with me and your rod and stop are the comfort I need to know. Let me know the chorus. For your end. 